Hey YouTube, this is Southern Pepper One, and I'm bringing you a battery today. I want to talk about batteries. Uh, there's a lot of questions about uh, solar. A lot of people are looking at it. That is probably the area people are the weakest in. A lot of people can take care of the food. They can take care of water with rain catchment. Uh, they can take care of security. They can take care of, uh, you know, having a wood stove, or they can take care of all the basics. When it comes to solar, it is a topic uh, that if you ask four experts in the field, you could get three answers. What's the best? What should I go with? So I'm trying to educate you so you can understand solar. Solar is very expensive if you want to do your whole house. Uh, even if you want to do part of your house, it's expensive. Uh, we take for granted the privilege we have of living in the United States and having this massive billions and billions of dollars that support the ability to take a switch and turn it on in your bedroom and get light in there or go to your kitchen and turn on your stove we take that for granted there's a huge infrastructure behind that so when you want to do it yourself and you want to go with power uh, backup power or if you want to go totally off-grid it takes a lot of resources to accomplish that task so batteries that's really the key to your system most people can understand batteries they understand that you need solar panels, you need all the all the electronics from the charge controllers to the inverters. Let's talk about batteries. Now when I show you a battery box, I tell you the watt hours. This is a Redodo, Redodo, Redodo. Um, this used to be Zoom. I'm very familiar with Zoom because my good friend has Zoom batteries. He is off grid uh, and he loves them. He's got four of these wired to get 12 times 4 is 48 volts he has a 48 volt system he added some additional batteries uh, he has a bunch of batteries but he just expanded it and he went with the zoom this is the same company they've changed their name I don't know why they changed their name but I have not found anything negative about that name change um, so this battery has a track record in that sense this is a lithium iron phosphate that is what you're looking for. Um, it's also called Life Po 4, Life PO4, Life Po 4. And that's what you're looking for in a battery or a battery box. Why do you go with lithiums? Um, basically, this is lighter. I can pick this up and carry them. If this was a lead acid battery, it has two handles and I would have to have someone help me carry it or I would kill myself trying to move it. Um, lithium is updated from the lead acid. Lead acid is good. There's nothing wrong with it um, in the sense of this is lighter. This is going to make a, a faster charge for you. This definitely has a longer lifespan. This battery in itself will last you 10 years um, or 3,000 life cycles. That's unbelievable. 3,000 times you can take this uh, use it and take it down low and then bring it back. So if you don't take it down low, you're going to get many, many more uses out of it. Um, the lead acid battery, um, if you take it down too low, you will destroy it. This battery is made where you can drop it through the bottom and, and not feel, oh no, man, I took it too low. It can handle it. Um, so this battery is going to last 3,000 cycles. So, you know, if you use this battery, you know, and you cycle it every couple days, that's a long time. Um, this is maintenance free. You don't have to worry about checking anything. Uh, and for the average American, maintenance free uh, is definitely better. Plus it has that long lifespan. So you're gonna get your money out of it. Um, this battery right here is 12.8 volts. So you can use it for a 12 volt system. If you go to 24 volts, it's more efficient. You're gonna use the battery uh, more efficiently you'll get more use out of it as in power if you go to 48 volts if you can take four of these and wire them together to get you 48 it's even more efficient the reason I like these because let's hypothetically say you have one 48 volt battery and something goes bad in it you technically might be down the whole systems down but if you have four of these you can take a 48 volt system and turn it into a 24 volt system granted you have to change out some other parts you just can't do it 48 but it gives you that capacity that's why i like 12 volts because i have put back some 12 volt components from the charge controllers to the inverters to everything else i need because it's relatively a lot cheaper and you can find it everywhere compared to 48 48 if you're going to do a whole house system you need 48 if you're doing to do a small backup 
I have gone with 24. So I would take two of these batteries and that would make the 24 volts. Um, the negative part about this battery is it is lithium. So it gives you a ton of positives. Negative is inside this is a brain. I just think of it as a little computer. Uh, and it's called BMS, Battery Management System. So there's a little computer in here, a little brain, look little board, computer board, that can be fried with EMP. Now, if you say, oh, I'm not gonna go with that, your solar panels can be fried, your inverters, your charge controllers, there's a lot of things that can be fried, but it's another component that could technically be fried. But all of the positives for everyday use, this is much better than a lead acid battery. Um, so you got that brain inside. What does that brain do? It basically monitors and management manages all the power coming in going out so it won't overcharge it, it won't undercharge it uh, it, it gives you better performance it also controls your charge rate going into here um, and is built into for safety lithium batteries are i would say a little bit more unsafe than the lead acid batteries now after i said that i want you to say oh, i'm never going to have a lithium there's things in there that you can do to safeguard this lithium uh, but this is one of the safer lithium batteries that are out there uh, so that battery management makes this thing last longer so that's if you see bms now a lot of companies make all kinds of different amp hours and you can just look on it and see what you need the higher the amp hours uh the more power you have also this one right here is 2560 watt hours so if you're buying an average size uh power box that's 2000 watt hours this is actually a more power than one of the power boxes in one battery so if you start with a system and you have a couple of these batteries even if you go with 12 volt and use a 12 volt system it's not as efficient as the 24 the 48 but it still works um, you can always add on more of the batteries if i was going to add batteries i would try to stay with the same brand but most of these batteries are pretty much probably made in the same factory uh, you know there's they're really the only thing different is the stickers on them but this one made by zoom and they changed the name um, has has a track record so I like that so I wanted to highlight this and try to explain more because a lot of people are calling me why can't I just build my own system you can the average person cannot though um, unless you buy a prepackaged system it's gonna be very hard for the average person that has no electrical skills knows nothing about solar to put everything together because with this you need a lot of little parts and, and I've been showing you that with my uh, off-grid water uh, actually in the next couple days I'll be doing some more work on it trying to get it up and running the electrical part and I'll show you that uh, but there's a lot of little parts to go with that but if you have the capacity to to store some of these in a house or in a garage and, and have the wall space to add the other components this would be better than a portable uh, boxes that I show you um, now if you live in an apartment or condo you can't have this you can't mount stuff on your wall you can't you know set this up your landlord wouldn't like you but you then would have to go with one of the portable battery boxes that I've shown but if you have the capacity and the space go with this or something like this um, that way you can add batteries you can add more capacity you can add more solar panels um, the only thing is you need to have someone help you do this unless you're very knowledgeable so you can, can create a safe system for your house um, so if you got any questions I'll do my best to answer them this is the subject that everyone is like man I need more power I need some power I, I, I have refrigerators and freezers um, but this is a way you can get some power um, any questions put them in the box in the comment section I'll try to get to it or send me an email at southernprepper1 at yahoo.com uh, I going to give you some links I get paid zero for sharing the links um, I get nothing from selling this product or showing it to you um, I just want to educate you uh, so you will be able to make better decisions uh, it's hard on the phone to explain everything but if you can start learning some of the components and this is the first component I want you to learn do your research the battery I recommend a lithium battery uh, over anything else because of all those reasons I gave you Thanks for watching.